is about 20 miles long and between three and five, uh, three by five miles wide. It is still separated into plantations. We have approximately 55 plantations on this island. Plantation size, it varied all across this island. You find plantation size being anywhere from 300 acres to over 2,500 acres. Then what you will still find living on these plantations are, of course, the descendants of slaves, where we are living in family clusters. Most the, in the middle of the family cluster, you will find the mother. Gullah is matriarchal, so there is a great respect and an honor that's given to the mother and the line of the elders. So you'll find that cultural patterns. And so then you'll find uh, surrounding the mother are her children. Then there are the extended family members, where we can count past the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth cousin. These family members are then living across the road from us. They're next door, they're behind us, they're down the road, they're around the corner, and around the corner again. <laughs> and then, which is also so unique to St. Helena Island living is that many of us are pinpointed to these plantations according to last names. Uh -huh. So, you know, even when you look at African American culture throughout, you know, our culture, we were given the names and even retained the names of slaveholders. Uh -huh. But in this area, you will still find some of those major slaveholding names. Now, more of the common names would be Middleton, Barnwell, Sumter, Jenkins, Frazier. Uh, so you'll find where the Middleton family, they are down in Coffin Point Plantation. If your last name is Miller, you're a Miller from uh, Ann Fripp. The Jenkins are down in uh, Eddings Point or, or Jenkins Plantation. My family name, we're Greens. That's my dad's name. So the Greens are either an Orange Grove or Land's End. But I mentioned we're related to everybody, right? So we'll run down the list. We are Green. We're Brown, we're Chaplin, we're Smalls, we're Pope, there's Freeman, there's Coxum, there's Polite. It's just, it's just a bit about everybody. Oh yeah, yeah, lots. Wow. We're, we're, we'll get out of this side. This is, I mentioned the oldest Batonville, Florida. They held anywhere between 15 and 20 plantations apiece. And then of course that meant the transportation of education throughout the South. It was so slow moving. Uh, South Carolina schools were not fully integrated until 1970. Wow. Oh, you had a lot of issues. This is, this is the South. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what, Charleston is the oldest city Buf really? in South Carolina? Really? Buford is number yeah. two? Right. Yeah, these Southerners, you know. Yeah. They, hey, look, I, yeah. I came South once. I think I was five or six. And I'm like, I'm, I want to go home. <laughs> I really do want to go home because yeah. at that time, they still didn't have indoor yeah, plumbing. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, they had the outhouse. outside to use the bathroom at night. Well, imagine yeah, I used to do, yeah. when we moved here. Uh -huh. I was 13. Okay. And it was, it was a, when I tell you it was a culture. I'm so glad to see them because they all been to meet them. Because they all been to win home. Then one man that you meet now is coming, he damn Jarrus. And he come and he get down to the ground to Jesus' foot. And he back him say, do please come to my house with me. Because Jarrus only his daughter been more stand than that gal been about 12 years old. Jesus gone with Jarrus. Same time Jesus been a gone. So much people that gone one with him and they push against him upon every side. One woman, what been sick about 12 years, all that time he been a bleed. He done pay doctor, all the money and tea, but nobody been able to cure him. That woman come behind Jesus, touch the edge of Jesus' clothes, the same time he touch him, the bleeding stop, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus asked the people, say, who that done touch me? Everybody around him tell him, say, the day he touched him, the Peter did what been long with him, say, master, all the crowds of peoples done around you to push against you. What makes you ask for that tension? But Jesus said, somebody didn't touch me, I ain't know, cause power didn't go down to me. <laughs> to all men what touch Jesus close, find out that it ain't been able for hard and he start to tremble and he come and he get down to the ground to Jesus' foot. Before all the peoples, that woman tell Jesus how come he touch him and now at the same time he touch him, he been killed. Jesus tell that woman, say, me daughter, cause you believe you're done been pure, you can go with peace in your heart. <laughs> uh, and with that happening, 
a, a, lo, a lot of words were lost, different sayings were lost. Like we would say, uh, if you eat more than your stomach can hold, you know, a long eye. Like last night I had a long eye. You ate long more. You, you, yeah, a long eye. Your belly was was your eyes bigger than your belly. That's, right. That's, <laughs> That's called a long, a long eye. eye. Or to tell someone to be quiet, stop cranky teeth. <laughs> yeah, stop cracky teeth. Yeah, stop cracky teeth. Okay. Why are you talking? Uh, <laughs> cracky teeth. Uh-huh. Man, cracky teeth all the time. Cracky teeth. My, uh, my, uh, my aunt used to say dry long soap. Like, like, if you ask my, why did you do that like that? I ain't no dry long soap. Just because. Oh. You know. A lot of words that we think maybe uh, English are actually African words as we look at mm -hmm. the African woman being the nurturer, nursing right. the, you know, the white children. Mm -hmm. So you see the, the exchange of language even there. So a lot of English words that are thought to be English are actually African. Like uh, simple words like Nana. If you call your grandmother Nana. Mm -hmm. Or even the word, I remember back in the day you used to call uh, chickens bitties. And, and our peanuts were goobers or I to carry something to tote this yeah. you know or even a word we say all the time and that's okay, okay. <laughs> that's an African word wow. but it depends on how you say it we say okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, I say it like that when I'm tired of people okay, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. we uh my sister and I this is a funny story we uh we were in the post office and let, me, and let me just say too one thing about the language if you're talking to a family member you know how sometimes you'll slip into yeah, if right. they're talking a certain way then you yeah. can kind of mm -hmm. slip into it yeah. well that's the way Gullah is sometimes you know and we were in the uh, post office my sister and I and this this gal come walk through you see what I did there uh -huh. and oh my gosh you can hear what that gal done see when she opened she mouth it took we straight way back to we grandma time, you know, because we ain't gonna like that in a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. And the oldest thing that gal, the tell that man say, this your milk ain't mine, I'm gonna left him for you. Oh. <laughs> and you know the man behind the counter, he don't understand what she done say. Okay. You know, and that gal said that thing over and over again, because you know, we we know automatic what that gal done say. <laughs> but we want to hear him over and over again too, you know. <laughs> By the third time that gal said that thing, the bit of more she come to ground and all. Because <laughs> boy, did they be so angry, and you know, he been a bakker man. You know, you turn red up. White, you know, he turned red. <laughs> and she said it again real loud, so I say, this your milk ain't mine, I'm gonna left him for you, no. Me and my sister, we figured we made that gal say that thing too many times. So we both together tell he say, she said this male is she's gonna leave it there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. This your male taint mine. Mm -hmm. I'ma left him for you. That's a true story. It was really amazing. Amazing to hear wow. it. You know, it has just changed so much. You, know? you just said it that last time. I just I, heard it. You just heard it. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what I done say. I said it I said it right the first. We said first though. <laughs> Dish ya will take mine. Yeah. Uh, I'ma left him. <laughs> right ya. <laughs> this is what he 